What's up, wise guys and gals, and welcome to episode 28 of the Wise Eats Podcast. I'm your host, former fat guy and certified fitness coach, Wes Wise. And we've got a great episode for you today. I have a recipe of the week that I want to share along with some quick bites. I'm also going to do a word to the wise. So let's get right into it. It's time to wise up. Welcome to Wise Eats. I'm Wes Daddy. Uh, a word to the wise. Word of the wise, folks. A word to the wise. Word for the wise. Let's break for a word to the wise. I got a five-star iTunes review from Doring1983, and he says, Amazing podcast. From someone who has known Wes for well over a decade, he's been an amazing friend. His transformation and story is an inspiration, and his wise words are uplifting. Make a wise choice and support his journey, and hopefully he can help better yours. I appreciate that review uh during 1983 i know full well who that is mike d he's the man and uh you know it means a lot coming from a friend i've got eight freaking reviews on here so uh if you're listening and you haven't left a review yet which you probably haven't please do so it's on itunes just go right in your podcast app to the wise eats show page and you'll find a place there to write a review Okay, so let's dive into the recipe of the week, which is the Wise Eats Instant Oatmeal. This is one of my very favorite recipes. I have some version of it almost every single day, and a lot of times it'll end up being my pre-workout. So it'll be, I'll have my first meal around 9 o'clock, and then a few hours later, it's, that's all I need to energize myself for a workout at lunch. And then a few hours later at lunch, boom, I'm hitting my workout, and that's it. So if I am working out at lunch, the breakfast bowl will be my pre-workout, straight up. So it is two-thirds of a cup of sprouted oats, or you can, uh, rolled oats I use all, as well, a half a cup of raisins, one tablespoon of chia seed, one cup of blueberry, a dash of cinnamon. Sometimes I'll do a scoop of whey protein isolate or pea protein or some other kind of vegan protein, and then uh, eight ounces of unsweetened almond milk. And that's the general recipe that I use, but you can switch up all the ingredients. I'll use bananas, cacao nibs, raspberries, strawberries, all kinds of different, whatever you like, basically. So this is just, it's a nutrient-dense energy blast to, to start your day off right. So it's a great recipe. I will put it at wise-eats.com slash instant oatmeal. And that's it. That's the recipe of the week. Are you ready for a breakfast that's going to turbocharge your system and get you ready for your next match? Okay, so let's dive into some quick bites. Right now, my workout program is MAP Split. It's an awesome workout program. Uh, it's a lot of volume, a lot of different exercises, a lot of different rep schemes. There's different phases. You're doing different rep schemes in each one. The first one's kind of heavy. Um, the second phase is a little bit more mid-range, like 8 to 10 reps. And then the third phase is higher rep, like 15 to 20 reps. So it's cool. It switches it up every four weeks. Uh, day one is always chest and shoulders. So flat barbell bench, incline. I had to modify because I'm still working out at home, not back at the gym yet. Gyms are opening, which is good. But I like working out at home. I can do it in the sun. I can, you know, go about, do my business, do some things in between sets. I love it. So anyway, day one is chest and shoulders. Flat bench, incline barbell, incline dumbbell chest flies, barbell shoulder press, um, some other exercises won't go into each one, but I will post uh, my workout log on the website at wise-eats.com slash episode 28. So you can check that out if you're interested in learning more. Day two is legs. I'm going to have the barbell squat, reverse lunges, stiff leg deadlift, goblet squats. Day three is more of a back day with a pen lay row, a T-bar row, pull-ups, dumbbell shrugs, bar, uh, barbell curls, so you're hitting back and biceps. Day four is back to chest and shoulders again, so you're doing a single arm flat dumbbell press, uh, different exercises from day one, obviously, switching it up completely. Uh, single arm incline dumbbell press, incline close grip dumbbell press, again, I'll list all the, all the stuff on the website. Day five, back to leg day. So you're doing two leg days a week, which is brutal, but I'm a glutton for punishment. Split squats, Romanian deadlifts, single leg press, which I don't have a leg press, so I have to, I replaced it with a barbell squat. God, brutal. 
uh, standing calf raises. And finally, day six is a one-arm dumbbell row, assisted pull-ups, barbell rows, seated uh, or dumbbell rows. Like I said, I have to modify the, the plan a little bit. So this is supposed to be quick bites. I just rambled on and on about my workout plan. But uh, I just wanted to share some of the exercises that I'm doing just in case you need some inspiration there. And I will post my latest uh, full workout on the website. So you can definitely go check that out. I'll show you all the weights and rep schemes that I'm doing. Currently, I'm in phase three of MAP Split right now. You need to get that processed sugar out of your life, Jack. Uh, Moving on, my favorite unwise choice right now is breakfast cereal. (laughs) I don't ever eat breakfast cereal anymore because it's the ingredient lists are just out of control. There's so much stuff in them, sugar and just additives and preservatives, and it's just bad stuff. But my wife and I recently w- uh, did a couple of trips to the northern Michigan, which we love so much. We love that. It's like our home away from home. And we brought with us Cheerios Oat Crunch, Kashi Peanut Butter Crunch, and Crispex. That's her favorite. I think Crispex is so lame for a cereal, but she, that's her favorite. She swears by it. But that Cheerios Oat Crunch, I had never had before, and we both loved it. Amazing stuff. And then Kashi Peanut Butter Crunch, Buddy put me on that. Oh, that stuff is like magic. Magic. It's, obviously, it's not good for you by any means, but if I'm going to treat myself, I tend to lean towards things that, like I'm not going to go to McDonald's or, you know, Pizza Hut or I don't know, God, is Pizza Hut even around anymore? I don't know. But you could do a lot worse than some breakfast cereal. So that's the unwise choice that I'm favoring right now. Something I'm excited about diet-wise, uh, I talked about this before in one of the recipes, but frozen bananas. If you ha- if you don't have frozen bananas as a part of your life right now, I you, you got to wise up because throw frozen bananas in a blender to make a smoothie with it's a game changer i eat frozen bananas right out of the freezer as a snack they're just uh they're super good so that's my my diet tip for the day got some banana bananas books i'm reading right now i was reading the millionaire next door i got two-thirds of the way through it kind of put it down because dun 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 dun, my wife and i are expecting our first child at 37 years of age so that's exciting, and uh, now I'm reading The Expectant Father. I don't have the author right offhand, but, yep, I'm reading The Expectant Father because I want to be the best daddy that I can be. Best daddy! Movies that we're watching right now. Don't watch a lot of movies anymore, but lately, for some reason, we've been on a kick. I saw Brock's Bronx Tale for the first time. That was a fun movie. It's like a gangster movie, like... Uh, like back in the day, like Goodfellas and all them. I had never even heard of that before. I'd heard of it, but never saw it. And man, that's a classic. That's an instant classic. Good movie. George, Joe, stop f***ing breathing on me. You're killing me over here. I'm on a f***ing wind streak. Stop breathing on me, huh? Bobby, put him in the bathroom. Saw the, the Jumanji, uh, the next level. That was pretty good. I didn't like it as much as the first one, but it was still good. Took a little while to get used to the characters being all different. If you've seen the first one, you know what I'm, if you've seen either of them, you know what I'm talking about. All I know is we are stuck here again. We are running out of lives and my ankle is killing me. My guilty pleasure is Big Brother, the TV show. It's such a mindless waste of time. And I don't know how I got on watching that show to begin with, but I still love it. It's a great show. (laughs) God, relatively speaking, you know, if you're anyway, it's fun show. Tonight, a whole new group of strangers will move into the Big Brother house and begin the battle for a half million dollars. I asked once before, what's a song on your workout playlist that you never skip? One song that I can't seem to skip on my playlist lately is Till It's Gone by Yellow Wolf. It's, um, I picked that track up from Sons of Anarchy I used to watch back in the day. And for some reason, anytime that song comes on, I just... I just, the reps get more intense and I just don't never pass that song up. So another one is Staring at the Sun by Post Malone. I don't know if that's really like a workout kind of song. It's more, I don't know. It just grew on me. I never really listened to it much at first, but the more I heard it, it's like, love it now. Love that song. (laughs) I love Post Malone. I'm here to play some music and get up while we do it. Uh, Hollywood is Bleeding is one of my favorite songs from Post Malone, but he's got so many good ones. I'm part, uh, my wife and I uh, love that guy. So, anyway, that's songs I'm listening to with the workout right now. 
Um, shout out to, uh, to Jesus and Keith. Uh, Cone of Shame by Faith No More. The Day I Tried to Live by Soundgarden. They threw those out there. So appreciate you guys for diving into the YouTube comments. And while I'm at it, get in the YouTube comments. Leave me a comment, a question, whatever you want. Last but not least, I recently celebrated a birthday. I turned uh, 37, like I said. And uh, yeah, so that was fun. Got to spend some time with uh, family from out of town that I haven't seen in years. So it was great to reconnect with them. Had a wonderful time. But I don't know how many of you have parents with a sixth sense of humor. But uh, the night before my birthday, I go over to my dad's house, right? He lives a few blocks from us. And <laughs> he's 73 years old and has not lost his, uh, his wit. Cause, or maybe he is losing his wit. Because anyway, he gives us this cake, right? And it's a beautiful cake. It's my favorite from when I was a kid. It's rainbow chip and gorgeous. And I, he knows that I don't eat cake. So, like, I saw this cake, and it looked so perfect. I was like, dude, I got to have a piece of that. And <laughs> my wife is like, what kind of cake? What kind of cake is it? You know, vanilla is inside. Is it vanilla, chocolate, whatever? And my dad's kind of playing coy, like, oh, it's it's a it's a cock cake. And like, what does that even mean? So we're just we're like, what kind of cake is this? Anyway, this dude made a fake cake. He took, he bought, went to the store, bought a trash can, like a bathroom trash can, cut it in half, and then he decorated it with caulk, and he bought the rainbow chips and whatever, sprinkles and stuff, and put put it all over, decorated it. He said it took him three or four days to put it all together, and then he gives me a fake birthday cake. Oh, man. I wanted that cake so bad when I saw it. I was so bummed. I'm like, Dad, how could you do that? Oh, my God. Daddy. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I don't know if any of you have parents that do crazy stuff like that. I just, I don't know if he's, like, losing his mind or if he's, like, some kind of, like, mad genius in a weird way. But I just had to share that. So that's going to do it for episode 28. I hope you enjoyed the quick bites and give the Wise Eats instant oatmeal recipe a try. And I hope you uh, enjoyed the episode overall. And if you did, please like the video on YouTube, subscribe, leave a comment, shoot me a message or a DM on Instagram. I'm at Westwise Fitness. So again, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And remember, be good to yourself, be good to others, and make wise choices. dumbbell short seated dumbbell like arnold presses uh alternating so not together just did one one at a time also uh i can't remember what i did maybe i'll post the uh whatever the workout was in the in the thing hey i don't want your money touching my money i can't even get no only reviews i get are from my best friends and most of them still aren't even leaving me a review is this mic even on is anybody out there this <laughs> gonna make me a fake birthday cake i still ain't i still ain't right with that for a nutrient dense energy blast to start your day get in the kitchen and whatever dad you still owe me a cake a real one <laughs>